Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, this new crazy mother. So I've already covered popular 2020 midsize SUVs to avoid and the better options. Also popular 2020 small SUVs to avoid and the better options. You can find links to both of those videos in the description below today. Popular 2020 compact cars to avoid and the better options. Let's get started. We begin with the 2020 Chevrolet Spark. MSRP range between 13 and 17,700. Overall miles per gallon, 33. Now, it's a small footprint, easy to park, has elevated seating position, but it doesn't make up for a loud cabin, so-so fuel economy for the size, and active safety features that are available only on the top trim level. This is from my friends over at Consumer Reports. There are simply better economy cars out there for the money, as well as larger ones that deliver similar fuel economy numbers. Consumer Reports testers describe the Spark as, quote, a rudimentary, bare-bones penalty box, unquote, and noted that while the car performed well in braking and crash avoidance maneuver tests, acceleration, interior fit and finish, and road and engine noise, they were all dismal. The better option? The 2020 Honda Fit. Price range between sixteen dollars and about $21,000. Overall MPG the same at $33. Reasons to buy the Honda Fit? Good reliability, fuel economy, small footprint, and a cavernous interior. Reasons you might want to skip it? Rough ride, according to Consumer Reports. Noisy cabin, poor acceleration. Active safety features aren't standard. Now, the under-the-radar alternative is the 2020 Volkswagen Golf. Price range between $23,000 and $37,000. Overall MPG a little less at 28 miles per gallon. Reasons why you might want to buy it, it's quiet, comfortable, agile handling, quality interior, standard forward collision warning, and automatic emergency braking. Reasons to skip it, it can be pricey in the GTI, E-Golf, and R trims. Only one non-performance trim level is available. Another popular small car to avoid, the 2020 Kia Rio, price point between $16,000 and $18,000. That's really good. Overall MPG, 33 miles per gallon. We've heard that number before. A basic economy car with uninspiring interior, according to Consumer Reports. The Rio turns in decent fuel economy numbers and has easy-to-use controls. Acceleration, though slow, is competitive for the class, but the engine buzzes loudly during hard launches a harsh, noisy ride and hard plastic armrests make for an uncomfortable driving experience. Four collision warning and automatic emergency braking aren't standard across all trim levels. On the plus side, Kia provides a generous warranty. Now, the better choice, the 2020 Hyundai Elantra, price point between 19 and around 25 grand. Overall MPG right there again at 33 miles per gallon. Reasons to buy this one, roomy interior, good fuel economy, standard active safety features, reasons to skip, unresponsive steering, uninspiring handling, unsupportive front seats. Now, the under the radar alternative is the 2020 Toyota Yaris price point between 15,650 and just under 19 grand overall MPG here it is 35 miles per gallon reasons to buy it impressive fuel economy as stated standard active safety features and a good value overall reasons to skip a noisy ride slow acceleration and cramped back seat according to consumer reports so what do you think? Agree or disagree with these suggestions in the compact car category? Also check out again the midsize SUVs and the small SUVs to avoid and the better alternatives by clicking the links in the description below. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson. Thanks for watching. See you back here next time. Adios. One more thing before you go. I've added links in the description below to some of the best-selling automotive accessories and products on Amazon right now, plus links to some of the product reviews I've done. You can find it in the description below this video. And if you don't mind, take a couple of seconds and click that subscribe button. I'm uploading two, three, sometimes four new videos every week, and I don't want you to miss anything, plus it helps support my channel. As always, if you have any constructive criticism, thoughts, or suggestions about my video, please leave it in the comment section below.